being on national television and having the Denver crowd acknowledge what you've done, does that kind of bring some sort of closure to this whole thing? Yeah, I mean, you know, this will be the last time come here for this year until next season. Um, um, obviously, an awesome, we've been also game for here probably for a while, right? Because it takes a little time. Um, um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess it's a little closure, you know. I, you know, I won't be coming back in that family. Um, but it's, it was an amazing time coming back here. I love coming back. Um, what the fans have done for me, um, supporting me and cheering me on, it was a pretty amazing feeling. One of the better things I've ever had in my life, in my career. So I'm just so very thankful for them and their support. Um, like I said, I did try to do the best I could when I was here for them, and, and for them to appreciate it, man, it means a lot. Did that kind of confirm that for you, what they've done, what they've done with the elevations? I mean, were you, is that something in your mind where it was like, yeah, I, did, I know I did my best, but, you know. Yeah, you know, I think, I think we can all, we all understand that sometimes when you do work and you do good work, sometimes it doesn't get noticed, and uh, sometimes you want to be appreciated for what you did. Um, and that's in everyday life, you know, whatever. It could be anything, you know, you do something to somebody, you, you want them to say thank you, I guess, in a way. And I'm not that I want them to say thank you, but the fact that they did it means a lot, you know. You know, I, I, you know, I never ask for answers or, you know, thank yous for anybody, you know. I just try to do the best I can, but the fact that they appreciate it, like I said, it means a lot to me, because, uh, you know, that's, that's what I try to do, is just play hard. And sometimes you get unnoticed for playing harder, you know, but they don't, people don't, I guess, appreciate it. And the fact that Colorado did, like I said, I love him and I appreciate it. Was it more than you thought it might be? Because you were here a couple weeks ago, there were a few booze mixed in when you got introduced. Yeah. Uh, so did it exceed your expectation? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It definitely did. Um, it was an unbelievable experience, um, but it was great. We're running onto the line and seeing all of them. And I really try to take, take it in. You know, usually I'm, I'm pretty like locked in on but the, being at the All-Star game. You're just trying to have fun. And I just, you know, I really appreciated the moment. And it was an incredible time. Is there almost relief now that all these kind of big events are off the calendar for this game? Is there a bad all here to get off? Just all now? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, 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 there's a little relief as far as, you know, trying to make a push for the second half and make a run for the playoffs. So the focus is there now. Um, but uh, I won't be getting any standing ovations anywhere else anymore. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not too worried about those anymore, I guess. But it, it was awesome. You know, I, I, I love it. You know, I don't take them for granted. You know, on the show, he had grown a hundred mile power for three months. Yeah. Of course, he did. Were you grateful that he, he came at you? Like no, that? yeah. I mean, he's, he, you know, I think I think he knew that I was his last batter, too. Or, or it could have been the last batter if he got out of the inning. So <coughs> he probably tried to hump up a little bit. But he's as good as advertised. His fastball had a little cut. And uh, he's a really good player, man. I mean, he's incredible. Sometimes it's hard to tell the connections like this. Oh, for sure, yeah, it's exciting. It's just kind of weird because you don't really prepare for it like a regular game. You know, you're kind of just more talking, hanging out, and then they're like, hey, you got to go to the line and get ready for the game. And you're like, oh, okay. And you're not really like, stretched or anything. Usually, like, you know, you get massage and do all the little things to get prepared for a game. Here, it's just about spending time with each other and, you know, just talking the game. Yeah, like old times. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, Herman's had a great, great first half, and I, you know, he's one. He's a great buddy of mine and a great teammate, and uh, he did a great job. And uh, that's what he does, man. When he's on, he's one of the best in the game. So it was great to see. Well, when you were talking about just trying to take it all in, did someone remind you to do that so that you didn't get the RPMs going? <laughs> no, you know, I think, like I said, I think I said earlier, you know, my first All-Star game, I don't really remember it because I was like so shy and kind of nervous and I didn't really want to like bother or talk to anyone and I remember when I got home I was like man I don't even remember anything I did like it wasn't like it was fun but I was like I, I didn't yeah guys so I just make sure that everyone I go to I try to really take it in and talk to people and get to know them and just learn something so that's what I've been doing every single one and it's been working because I every I remember every all-star game like it was yesterday so it's been awesome. You were talking the other day about the to A sense in this all-star game you're that older player talking to the younger guys? I mean, I try not to look myself as an older player, <laughs> but, you know, I guess, you know, just seeing how young some of these guys are on, on our side, on the other side, it's, on the other side, it's crazy. I mean, how good these young players are. I mean, when I was 22, I was, in, you know, I was a rookie, and these guys are getting 30 of the bombs in the show, you know. It's just incredible with the game, how the game's changed so much, but it's, I feel like it's just gotten so much better, 
the past few years as far as talent-wise than it did when I guess I, I first got called up. You know, it's incredible what's going on. Well, as you went through this homecoming a week or two ago, well, were you surprised it was even better from the fans this time, or what were you anticipating? Were you a little nervous about it? I wasn't nervous about it this time. It was when I came two weeks ago. Um, this time I was just kind of just enjoying an all-star game. You know, I obviously know it was in Denver, and I know I've played a lot here. Um, but, yeah, that ovation when I was running to the line was amazing. It was, it was probably the best thing that's happened to me in a while. <laughs> Um, you know, I think we talked definitely about the swing and the cage, about hitting, you know, what you're trying to do and stuff like that. But I think I was asking more questions and people were asking me questions. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm just trying to find ways to get better. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely back and forth about swings and hitting and what you're trying to do against certain guys that we all face. You know, I think that's those conversations are happening a lot. Did you see uh, Peyton or Todd up close when they were I didn't. I, want, I wish I would say hi to Todd. I, I wish I would have been able to do that. I, I love Todd, man. I saw Peyton's dirt ball. Did yeah. you, miss, <laughs> did you miss anything about getting on a line in the summer night in Colorado? Yeah. Um, I guess it, I miss it in a way, but also not. Because like I miss like the sun coming down, but I also don't miss it because I used to have to spike the ball in the grass to make a throw at first because the sun would be the first baseman's eyes. Like I miss that time, but I also don't miss that same time because I'm like, man, I'm gonna make an air here if I can keep throwing in the dirt. But um, I guess the, you know the summer nights were always really nice here. No, when we talk about taking it all in, now we got the stars on the jerseys. You a lot of stuff to think about. You and Max have the most, or I, I think so. How many more you could have when, uh, when it's all said and done? Well, you know, I I hope there's more. You know, that's the goal is to make the All Star team. I mean, you want to make it every year. Um, I hope there's more. I, I don't know. I try not to. I don't want to say I'm gonna because I don't know if I'm going to ever again. But I hope so. Good. Right, thank you guys. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks.